I challenge you to have a forehand swing as small as Layla Fernandez. By the way, if you are not subscribed to Court Level Tennis, you're missing out. You got to make sure you subscribe to their channel. I put their link in the description below. So let's check this out. Look at this forehand right here. Couple things. One, she's turning with both hands. She takes the racket back, both hands on. So just film yourself. Make sure that your non-hitting hand is on the throat of the racket. Really helps to create tension in the upper body, making it very easy to coil throughout the stroke. Now, the next idea. Her racket never goes to the wrong side of her body. And I'll call say wrong. It's not really wrong. It's more efficient and inefficient. But she's keeping the racket on the efficient side of the body, keeping it on the hitting side of the body. You see a lot of recreational players, their racket goes way back here. And it means that they can't handle some of the fastest hitters they play against. You see your racket's down below contact. Her racket face is closed at this point, meaning her strings are tilted down. She swings up for topspin, finishing in her opposite hand. If you check all of these boxes, man, is your forehand going to improve. Now, to help me demonstrate this technique, I've got the Topspin Pro here. To get one, you know what to do. Grab my affiliate link in the description below. It would mean the world to me if you got one using my link for at-home practice. So thank you so much. You know, players know that the swing is supposed to be a loop but there are different size loops. You can take a monster truck tire, right? A really big tire for a really big truck. Or you could take a wedding ring, right? And it's a loop, same shape, but much smaller, right? I want you to feel like you're going around a wedding ring with your racket. Feel like you're going around a donut. I love donuts. Don't go around a monster truck tire. And if you got the Topspin Pro, you can practice this. And I've got a broom handle here, actually, that I use to teach players about their, their forehand volleys, about turning for a forehand volley like this, both hands. But what I like to do with my students on court is I'll take like my racket, or I, you could take a broom handle, and you can put the broom handle out, right? And have the student go around the broom handle. They don't have to go way up here to go around the broom handle. They can go very small around the, the broom handle and get that feeling of what it's like to use a small loop, not a big loop. So I'm going to split step and use a small loop against the Top Spin Pro. I'm feeling a very small circle with my racket. I go up both hands, small loop, not going to break the plane and you know crash into the wall. I'm going to get the racket down below contact with my strings pointing down. I'm going to spin up, finish in my opposite hand. These simple concepts make for a world of improvement on your forehand. Look, you got to go out and practice. You need to go out on the court, film yourself from the side, film yourself from the back, get a Topspin Pro, and at home, film yourself hitting on the Topspin Pro. Turn like Layla, both hands. Use a really small loop. You will be able to handle faster players and, and harder hitters and deeper shots, which only just means that your level of play goes up. You copy these forehand tips. There's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.